Hi, Saggy. Welcome to your weekly reading. This is for Sagittarius, Summer Rising Venus, where we'll be taking a look into the week ahead and get some insight with some guidance and overall see what's going on for Sagittarius, Summer Rising Venus for the next seven days. What do my Saggies need to know for this upcoming week? Any insight, wisdom, guidance for Sagittarius, Summer Rising Venus in the next seven days? What do they need to know? Show me clearly. Messages for Saggy, Summer Rising Venus. Oh, okay. We have transformation and soul family. Ooh, I like that. All right, so transformation. Things are changing at a cellular level. Deep healing. Ooh. So this week is going to be a very healing week for you, Sag. And I feel like you're also coming together, coming into unity, coming into union. What the hell am I saying? Uh, coming into union with your soul tribe as you are healing as you are bettering yourself and really working on yourself you're really truly finding your soul tribe those who are on the same soul journey as you those who will help you those who will connect well with you you like people you'll just instantly click instantly get, get along with wow i kind of feel like kind of tongue-tied so far in your reading so please bear with me <clears throat> just get like a tickle in my throat and like all of a sudden like i feel like my mind is blank like i have nothing to add to this <laughs> sorry sag this is your message bye see you later take care <laughs> hope you found this insightful i'm just kidding um no this transformation it's not just happening oh this week you're transforming this week no like this has been an ongoing journey that you've been on for a long time sag but um, as you're continuing this journey, as you're continuing to better yourself, you're noticing or you may start to notice that the relationships around you, the people that you're starting to connect with, new people could be coming into your life, you know, this week or very soon. And it's it's really beautiful. You know, you're really learning to open yourself up to connecting with others and yeah it just it just feels good it feels very healing feels very like warm i don't have much to add to this so we'll just keep it at that <laughs> uh messages for sagittarius summer nice and beautiful for the week ahead what are the messages for saggy please show me clearly wow okay we have the hummingbird we also have the elephant and let's just get one more for Sagittarius, summarizing Venus for the week ahead. Any messages for Saggy for the week ahead? Nice. Thank you. We have the co <laughs> the Cobra. The card is just flying. Yeah, there's a lot of... Ooh, look at here. The Phoenix at the bottom. Okay, talk about transformation. And the Vulture, yeah, letting some shit go. Okay, I'm not going to keep those cards, but just gives us a little more insight as to what's going on for you guys. So we have air energy as well as double fire. Um, yeah, you guys are going through lots of learning, lots of growing, teaching opportunities, as well as being the student. So like, you know, there's situations in life that come up where you are the teacher and you're teaching other people, teaching other souls their soul lessons or you're helping them on their journey and then vice versa. There are souls that come into your life souls that are part of your soul family oh my god have, take a shot every time i say soul <laughs> anyways there's the energy of giving and receiving and teaching yourself and others and there's yeah like there is some sort of breakthrough happening there's some sort of like change that you can expect or you're you're recognizing the wisdom that you've gained the elephant's actually a very like auspicious energy it does talk about good fortune good luck even like a windfall of like money so if you've been manifesting that shit you you keep that money mindset babes it will come through real soon okay keep that up keep that consistent effort stay believing um you could be experiencing little blockages or like delays or like you know setbacks the energy of the elephant does talk about setbacks and how sometimes when those not even sometimes personally i believe like everything happens for a reason you may have different opinions but like this talks about um orchestration and you know the bigger plan and so yeah you could you might get a flat tire oh my god i'm late for work but perhaps you were meant to maybe there's like um like a bad accident down the road or i don't fucking know but like just like things that come up 
that seemed like an inconvenience at the time but then really when you look back you're like wow like if it wasn't for that thing if it wasn't for that situation like things would be so much different now so i kind of am picking up on that energy from the elephant it's just like things that are happening this week definitely seem to be like orchestrated in a way and if you really open your mind to that if you really are um receptive or you just like pay attention to like the details and you'll you'll start to notice that heavily heavily okay and then we also have the hummingbird and the hummingbird talks about needing to have a good balance in your life return to the things that keep you grounded especially since you are going through such change and transformation and you also are breaking through certain blockages that you could have been experiencing setbacks things that were just like you know keeping you stuck um i see that as you focus on bringing more balance into your life you know think of temperance your energy when you bring more balance into your life um it it's uh there's not so much resistance there's more like flexibility and allowance for movement and it just flows better flows easier so that's like what i'm feeling this week is like you need to just like be flexible be receptive and be flowing okay um because there's going to be situations or things that come up that really ask you to surrender teaching you to release control lots of lessons being learned here so we'll definitely see what that could be talking about when we post some tarot messages because let's let's get into it messages for sagittarius summer rising venus for the week ahead what's going on for saggy for the next seven days we already have a card all right two of wands so you may have some sort of choice or a decision you need to focus on what you want get very focused make up your mind though before you you know shoot your target messages for sagittarius summer rising venus for the week ahead the next seven days what's going on for my saggies in this week what do they need to know i think <laughs> look at that card like try to flip out and then it's like actually never mind <laughs> like <laughs> messages all right thank you we got death and the six of cups oh i'm seeing that there's something definitely a past situation coming to an end nine of pentacles eight of pentacles bottom of the deck wheel of fortune the magician and strength and the hangman lots oh my god and the chariot wow lots of major arcana at the bottom so this feels like it's a pretty significant time for you um definitely expect changes in your manifestations if you've been feeling stagnant if you've been feeling like nothing's been happening nothing's been moving oh this is going to be the week where you're going to need to make sure you have a lot of strength a lot of energy because you're going to be busy okay you're going to have a lot to do a lot to get done you're going to be oh what is this card the bat I must have missed it. It blended in with my table. Like, blended in. I didn't see it. You, you almost don't even see it. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess it wasn't meant to. But Bat does talk about change and transformation. Um, I think the Bat came out for Cancer's reading, which we do have Cancer and energy out here, as long, along with Leo, Pisces, and Scorpio. So we have all the water signs out here in your reading, um, Sag. Okay, yeah. So let me see two of wands to the six of cups and death so it definitely looks like you're making your mind up about a situation possibly from your past or possibly just like whether this is just recent past or something that happened a while back we'll see what this could be talking about but it looks like as you're looking back at a situation again this could have been a situation that happened yesterday um you're making the decision to let something go. You're letting something go. And you are making room for new beginnings here with death. Which is the, <laughs> this is the opposite of Scorpio's energy. They were holding on and resisting letting something go. So very different energies. It's interesting. Um, which is interesting because Scorpio had the death card reversed. Different energies, different ways. Okay. Um scorpio energy which scorpio had this card come out but it was reversed for them um so yeah there is something that is reaching its peak or it served its purpose in your life and i see that you're moving on nine of pentacles coming out kind of going back in with that hummingbird energy which i was saying how you are needing to bring more balance and moderation back into your life to really focus on nurturing yourself and taking good care of yourself your wellness your health especially physical health mental health spiritual health all that right health is important 
Um, making that a priority this week, making sure you're listening to yourself, you're listening to your body. But you guys are really embodying like such confidence. You really are. I like it a lot. You know, you're very determined. You're very hardworking. You're you're very focused. And I was saying that at the beginning with the two of wands. I was like, make sure you get focused on whatever it is that you're trying to, you know, accomplish or get done this week. As you can set your mind to it and stay determined, stay focused on your goals, you can get a lot done. Like you're gonna be getting shit done, crossing off things from your list. Like you will fly forward without a doubt so this is just like talking about consistent effort whatever it is that you've been working at sag keep it up you are on the right track and i feel like you're getting the ball rolling um the ball is rolling the yeah once the ball rolls you can't stop it or like does that yeah whatever the wheel of fortune right there's major major movement and you can start to see like such changes in your manifestations after you know after a period of reflection the, the hangman probably tying into that six of cups death you reflected on a situation regarding your past your own past self how far you've come, where you used to be, what has changed, what's no longer in your life, a past relationship, memories, things that are being brought up. You are looking at it from a different perspective. And another thing that I was picking up on is like, if you've been feeling stagnant in certain areas of your life, you can expect to see that change this week. You can start to see momentum, all right? Expect it, claim it, believe it, it's yours, but you have to believe it, you have to really be to be in this energy of the magician right what you think about you bring about your mind's a magnet and so if you've been feeling stuck or stagnant this could be the week where you really get the ball moving the ball rolling okay it's gonna require a lot of strength a lot of determination a lot of focus and willpower oh yeah but if you want it it's yours to claim you just need to be confident within yourself that is the major key that I'm picking up here. Um, confidence is key. Is there anything else I'm getting from this? No. <laughs> no. So we'll do some clarifying, get some more details. We've got plenty of time. So yeah, let, let me take a look into this death energy, see what's coming to an end or what you're letting go. Possibly it could be a blockage or something that you've been like holding on to, which that was a similar message that came through in Scorpio's reading. Like I said, Scorpio had death in their read, but it was reversed. You're not really resisting it. So at least not this week. So that's good. But yeah, let's take a look into death for Sagittarius, Summer Nising Venus for the week ahead. Can you tell me about, tell me about death for saggy summarizing venus time at death for sagittarius for the week ahead beautiful transformation mm -hmm. time of death for saggy for the week ahead two of wands double confirmation ace of cups trying to come out so this could be about a relationship but it didn't come out queen of pentacles uh reverse along with the king of swords nine of pentacles double confirmation wow all right seven of swords and the wheel of fortune ten of pentacles the star four of cups and what's underneath the four of cups the queen of cups at the bottom we have aquarius energy as well as capricorn so we go back to this decision, the two of wands. I focus on what I want and make it happen. So we have that energy coming out again with the two of wands. And this is clarifying death. So what are you needing to let go? What are you needing to release so that you're able to embrace these new changes? Um, so I'm kind of seeing here with the queen of pentacles reversed to the two of wands. There could have been like insecurities or blockages or fears or doubts and we actually had um the four of cups to the star like feeling unfulfilled feeling stuck feeling like you don't have what you want i'm never gonna get there oh maybe i should quit maybe i should give up you know and so kind of like well what do i do about the situation kind of not having the most confidence within yourself kind of just going back and forth, feeling stagnant and 
overall feeling just kind of like shit. <laughs> um because ultimately, Ten of Pentacles and the Star, this is what you're hoping for. This is what you're wanting. This is what you're trying to manifest and bring into your life. But yet you felt so stagnant. You felt so unfulfilled. You felt like nothing is happening. You're going nowhere. And just feeling like stumped, you know, stumped about a situation. Stumped like, how can I get the ball rolling? Like, because it wasn't. But that's the thing. That's I feel, oh, that's probably what I'm going to title this reading is like getting the ball rolling or something. Because that's what I'm feeling this week is like, you felt stunted something about this you felt blocked or maybe it's just like again maybe, maybe you felt blocked but perhaps there's a, a a bigger plan um divine orchestration god's plan something that you'll look back on and be like oh i see why it took so long for that ball to start rolling but now i understand like you know things are happening in like a divinely orchestrated way have ultimate trust stage okay and i see that um I see like once you really just kind of get centered within yourself king of swords to the nine of pentacles get back your confidence feeling more certain within yourself more focused more like instead of saying like oh i wish for this or oh i wish i had that or i want this and you're like no 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 i demand it it is a divine right i deserve this not i want this or i wish i had this no 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 i will have it it's just a matter of when I'm not going to worry about how or when. I'm just going to do the damn thing. I'm going to fucking show up. I'm going to do what I can. And I'm going to trust that whatever's truly meant for me won't pass me by. But with that King of Swords energy, this is some like hardcore, focused, discreet planning energy, right? Being like organized and focused and determined and analytical, like business mindset, you know, pl and taking no prisoners, okay? Okay along with the seven of swords and the wheel of fortune so i'm picking up on the energy first of all there's a couple things i'm getting from this seven of swords could be talking about that sabotage energy of like oh maybe i'm not good enough maybe i should give up maybe this maybe that i'm never gonna get there keeping yourself stuck keeping yourself just in this low yucky energy is getting you nowhere if anything you're just feeling worse right it's getting you nowhere I want to say, with the Wheel of Fortune to the Seven of Swords backside, um, this is the energy of you planning on how to how to get that ball rolling, like getting very analytical and making even adjustments or changes, some sort of change, even to yourself, to your appearance or to like your wellness, like just making certain adjustments that will make you feel stronger more encouraged more um braver yeah does that make sense i don't give a fuck <laughs> all right um because you really you really fucking want this so something needs to change point blank let's take a look at the hangman and see like okay so you reflected on something or you have a change in perspective you're able to see this from another way can you give us some insight on that spirit kind of the hangman for sagittarius oh wheel of fortune fell on the ground or maybe i knocked it off i don't know if i even put it back anyways um Tell me about the hangman for Sagittarius in the next week, the next seven days. Tell me about the hangman for Saggy. Tell me about the hangman for Sagittarius, summarizing Venus for the week ahead. Ace of Wands. New idea. Inspiration. Um, and it's very quick, it's very sudden. Four of Pentacles um, backside, so this is something that you're releasing. Page of Cups backside. Wow, Six of Swords. Drop a Hangman for Sagittarius, Summer Nights and Venus for the week ahead. Mm, that didn't come out for a reason. Six of Cups. Okay, okay, yep, yep. Hermit coming out. Oh my god. <laughs> the Page of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. All right, we have a lot. A lot of cards here but i just wanted to get like the full scope so because there's a few things that i'm seeing from this so first off hangman 
to the Six of Cups, because we, we got to go back to that Six of Cups energy. I was saying how some of you are thinking about a past situation or something that happened to you recently or memories, right? There's that Six of Cups and focusing on what? Letting something go, possibly, right? You're reflecting on a situation, um, even an individual from your past for a Pentacles reverse, possibly working through letting something go or detaching, especially if you're not in communication or communication has been very like very bad um page of cups reverse you may be just realizing this isn't worth your energy and that if you were to focus your energy redirect it somewhere else you would actually have a lot more fulfillment a lot more joy and happiness in your life um so kind of realizing here at page of cups reverse to the six of court six of what the fuck Co no swords <laughs> i was gonna say cord coin sword <sighs> six of swords Moving away from that energy, realizing that you have other things to focus on that are much more deserving of your time and attention, not this shit, right? It's a waste of effort. It's a waste of time. It's a waste of energy. You know that there's better things out there. And so I kind of see that you're turning your back on a situation from your past. Like I said, communication may be very poor. Um, there's a lot of reflection. Six of Cups with the Hermit, right? Reflecting on this situation and what's interesting is we actually have these three of swords backside at the top of the deck which is telling me it shows clearly like you could be looking back at old wounds or you know hurts that you dealt with hurts that you experienced anyways um you are having a change in your perspective you're able to see this from another viewpoint and that allows you to move on or move forward towards something that's much better much much more up your alley sag okay what time are we at 20 okay 20 soon. we'll take a look into the chariot see what you're moving towards okay and then we're gonna wrap up this reading time with the chariot for sagittarius summer and Ice venus for the week ahead Tell me about the chariot for saggy summer and Ice venus for this upcoming week what does saggy expect what is saggy moving towards Okay, Queen of Cups coming out. Could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. The Lovers backside with the Fool backside. Gemini energy as well as Aquarius and Aries. The Magician, Aries. Oh, sorry, not the Magician. The Emperor, Aries energy. Try the Chariot for Saggy, Death. King of Cups. Eight of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords Chariot backside. This is telling me what you're leaving behind. What are you? Does it show what you're moving towards? Mm, a little bit. Okay, we'll talk about that. But it's giving me more clarity as to what you're leaving behind, Sag. So you're probably leaving this behind or letting this go this week or you can expect it to like finalize this week because what i'm seeing here is like we have the full reverse with the the lovers reverse so one way i can read this is that there's this unrequited connection unrequited relationship probably tying in with that six of cups the thing that you're looking back on the relationship you're looking back on emotions you're looking back on realizing how unrequited or one-sided the energy the effort the emotions were um and let me just make it very clear. We do have a king to the queen of cups. So there is a perfect pair out here. But for whatever reason, this has come to an end. Death. And we have the ace of swords and the chariot backside. Indicating that you've left this behind. Or you detached, cut yourself free from whatever this was. Um, for some, this is like a soulmate connection or karmic relationship. Another way that I can read this full reverse so indicating that there could be delays when it comes to forward movement like yeah which was i think i was saying that like how you were how um oh my god you could have been doing like stagnant energy and you've been feeling stuck and blocked or just like stumped you know feeling like nothing's really moving and the the full reverse can indicate delays right but I feel like if you've been experiencing delays, that's coming to an end this week. You can expect to see movement. 
uh, and the emperor, this is in your control. You have control over the situation. You have control of the chariot, the destination, wherever it is that you're trying to move towards or wherever it is that you're trying to trying to attract or bring into your life, Sag. It looks like this week you were in the driver's seat. You're deciding where you roll this ball, okay? For some, you could be moving towards uh, a perfect pair, right? Gotta, gotta cover all the grounds that I'm picking up on, all the messages that I'm picking up on. There are two perfect pairs not two there's two individuals over here connecting with one another um so maybe you're moving towards some sort of partnership or moving towards connecting with another individual you know like i was saying how with that six of swords that came out earlier six of swords or was it did i put it back in the deck the <laughs> six of swords and they the, i love how it's at the bottom the six of six of swords i'm so i wanted to say six of cords six of swords ah uh, okay page of cups reverse with the six of swords like i said you're moving away from that shitty communication whatever the fuck what you're moving towards ten of cups and the page of pentacles right so i feel like for some you could be moving towards um, a much better, if you're looking for like a connection or love or a friendship, business related, I don't give a fuck. It looks like there's something much better on the horizon for you. You could have been experiencing delays, but it's because you had to detach yourself or cut yourself free from something that you um, could have been holding on to. So yeah. Um, I was going to say something else, but it's gone now. So we'll just leave it there, Sag. That is what I picked up for your reading, the messages for this week ahead. If you found this helpful and insightful, let me know in the comments below. If you want to follow me over on my other social media, I do have Instagram and TikTok, both at Jade Stone Tarot. If you want to follow me, oh yeah, I already said that. Oh my god, brain fart. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to wrap up the reading here. Thank you for watching, and I will talk to you in the next one. Take care.